My name is James Lightfoot. I'm a group leader here at the Max Planck Institute for the Neurobiology of Behaviour in Bonn, and I lead the Genetics of Behaviour Lab. So we're interested in the evolution of novel behaviours, and to do this we study two nematode species, which are called Cenorhabditis elegans and Pristionchus pacificus. And now these nematodes, also known as roundworms, are separated by many millions of years of evolution, and so they've acquired different biological traits, which include differences in their behaviour. So in my lab, we're really interested in trying to understand the genetic differences, the molecular mechanistic differences, and also the neurobiological differences which give rise to these novel behaviours. Pristonchus pacificus is a really fascinating nematode species, in particular because of these uh, really specialised behavioural adaptations. So Pristonchus is an omnivorous nematode species, so it doesn't just feed on bacteria, but it's also a predator and is capable of feeding on the larvae of other nematodes. And to do this, it's evolved these really striking teeth-like structures in its mouth, which it's able to use to hunt down, kill and feed upon other nematodes which it comes across in its environment. But in our most recent work, we've been able to show that these nematodes actually avoid killing their own kin. In our work, therefore, we're really focused on how these nematodes have acquired these predatory feeding behaviours, how they're able to detect their prey, and how they're able to identify their friend from their foe. Even if humans are very different from simple organisms such as nematodes, many of the processes which take place in us are actually very similar to what's going on inside a simple nematode worm as well. Therefore, by studying nematodes, we can really figure out some of the basic fundamental processes taking place, and many of this is actually surprisingly related to what's going on inside us as well, and that also includes in the nervous system. A nematode worm is obviously a much more simple creature than a more complex organism such as humans, and accordingly it has a much more simple nervous system. A nematode only has around 300 neurons, and there's over 100 billion neurons in a human brain alone. But despite the apparent simplicity of the nematode nervous system, it can tell us a remarkable amount about how more complex organisms function, and in particular, also how we behave. If I could change one thing in research, it would be to remove the paywall structure around peer-reviewed journals, as this would allow everyone to have equal access to scientific information, no matter their background or their circumstances. In the long run, I hope we'll make some really fascinating discoveries into how novel behaviours evolve, and from this, hopefully uncover some of the fundamental principles behind these processes, which will maybe be applicable to other organisms.